Boom shakalaka, probably the worst signal in Bitcoin's history, plus evidence Bitcoin could be to $40,000 by April. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Lab. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including probably the worst chart for Bitcoin and why Bitcoin could be $40,000 by April. Before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Love. Push that like button. Now today, once again, fear 28. No change from yesterday. The overall market down half a percent. Bitcoin at 16,527. Ethereum at 11,93. BNB at 2,44. XRP 33 cents. Dogecoin 6 cents. Cardano 24 cents. And Polygon at 75 cents. And Bitcoin right now sitting on the very cusp of this wedge being rejected from the 50 day moving average, this yellow line, and potentially forming an inverse cup and handle, which might be lights out for Bitcoin, sending it down to roughly around the $15,000 area. Now, should that be a surprise? I don't know. This could be one of the worst signals ever for Bitcoin. On the two-week chart, the first death cross on the 20 and 100 in the history of Bitcoin has happened. We almost had one back in 2016, 2015. It's about September 2015. Almost had a cross right there. But that was actually right before gigantic, massive bull run. Now, right now, we actually have the cross. Is this still going to be before the gigantic, massive bull run? Or does it signal something really bad for Bitcoin? Well, let's take a look at the rest of the markets. Right now, households are worried about their jobs. Households probability estimate the unemployment rate will be higher a year from now, getting pretty darn high. Monetary policy tightening have, having intended effect. This is just what the Fed wants to see. Households are increasingly convinced that the unemployment rate would rise next year. No more hiding behind strong labor market for Powell. So people are scared thinking that the most anticipated recession ever is about to happen. But what if it doesn't? Because this chart right here says the net percent saying recession is likely has actually peaked. The last times that it actually peaked coincided with the absolute bottoms of the market. Are we about to do that for a third time? Did we actually have an absolute bottom to the market just occur? Well, it's certainly possible because if we take a look right now, growth stocks are seeing big underperformance. The year-over-year -year returns on the growth relative to the other stocks, they've just reached historic levels of underperformance. Even a mean reversion play should yield solid returns on growth stocks. If interest rates fall, that just adds fuel to the fire. The only other time it was down this low was the tech bubble collapse of 2000, 2001. That's the only time we've seen it this bad. So we might see something if there is a reversion to the mean. Right now, though, Bitcoin is basically just following what it's done every market. A historic view on each bear market's bottom formation between on-chain indicators, realized price, and CVDD, coin value days destroyed, we're perhaps in unprecedented times, but so far holding up, finding support on coin value days destroyed, similar to what is done in previous cycles, it may be no different other than that the realized price and CBDD are just as closer together than they've ever been before. Right now, every game has its own rules. Bitcoin does as well with the wave trend oscillator down here on the bottom. Every time it crests down here below the line, that's pretty much a reaccumulation phase. Every time it peaks up here above the line, that's pretty much the pump and dump phase when you want to get out from the market. We could just have yet another concentric circle for Bitcoin reaching towards the bottom of it. It would begin to inflect right now. No mercy for the bears because we do have a breakout of this descending wedge. Bitcoin is repeating a pattern in a larger scale on a linear chart, meaning much crazier bull run to follow. I mean, look at the scale of this one and then a massive bull run after that. Look at that compared with this one, how much bigger this is, potentially much more massive bull run. As a matter of fact, one more reason to be excited is the hash ribbons has entered capitulation mode, as we can see down here with it going gray. The indicator has always flashed a buy signal after the capitula capitulation, which has been an excellent buy for Bitcoin historically. Had you have bought at these areas, would have been an excellent excellent buy area for Bitcoin historically. As a matter of fact, had you have bought in these blue areas, this chart right here shows the profits you would have gotten somewhere between the lowest about 50% to the highest over 5,000% returns based on those buy signals, which brings us to this chart from Velvet Maxi. Basically, the circles once again, tops and bottoms of the circles, tops and bottoms of the circles, we have yet, to, yet again, double top and potentially double bottom of the circle, suggesting $40,000 Bitcoin by as early as April 
of this coming year. So if that excites you, push the like button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser.